So just a quick heads up, this video will contain spoilers for Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, so if you have not yet seen the movie, click away now. Hey everyone, oh my gosh, Fantastic Beast: The Crimes of Grindelwald had such a great twist at the end that I did not see coming. I don't think anybody really saw it coming. Did you see it coming? Probably not. But anyway, now this video, I have to talk about it because I'm just, it's been blowing my mind for days since I saw the movie, and I have actually some theories to build on it. Um, and of course we know that the biggest twist of all of Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald, was Queenie essentially going to the dark side, joining Grindelwald, and just going up through a full mental breakdown. I'm totally kidding. You know I'm actually talking about the other big twist at the end of Fantastic Beasts, which is actually Credence being revealed by Grindelwald as being actually Aurelius Dumbledore, brother of Albus Dumbledore. Alright, I'm pretty sure you didn't see that twist coming. But let's be honest, we just pretty much met Grindelwald and Credence and let alone us the audience barely even know much about him plus he's pretty famous for having like a smooth talk like um, being able to convince people of things um, so it's possible that he could just be lying but let's not go ahead and talk down that theory I actually have a completely different theory that completely blows him being his Albus, Albus Dumbledore's brother out of the water now, the best place to start with trying to figure out how exactly Credence could be Albus Dumbledore's brother, we have to first take a look at the Dumbledore history and starting with the Dumbledores that we actually do already know about. Now, of course, we already know about Albus Dumbledore, who was born in 1881. We know about his brother, Aberforth, who was born in 1883. And we know about their sister, Ariana, who was born in 1885. All three were born to the parents of Percival and Kendra Dumbledore. Kendra Dumbledore, a muggle-born witch, was killed in 1899 as a result of youngest daughter, Ariana, um, having developed an obscurial at a young age. She developed this obscurial because she was uh, harassed by a bunch of muggles, or a group of muggles, um, and so she decided to hold in her magic, which developed that obscurial. Eventually, she could not hold or control that obscurial, and it burst out, thus killing Kendra. And then there's Percival Dumbledore, the father, who we do not know if he is confirmed as being either a pureblood or a half-blood wizard, um, but he would actually eventually go to Azkaban and serve out the rest of his days there, dying in 1890, as a result of trying to attack that group of young muggles um, who had assaulted or at least encountered with his daughter Ariana. Now let's go ahead and go back to Credence, aka Aurelius. Now taking a look and doing some little bit of a deep dive of research, it looks like he's believed to have been born in 1901, making him roughly 26 years of age at the time of the film, and that's what based according to what is on the Harry Potter Wikipedia page. Um, now if that is true, there is no way that he could be the son of Kendra for sure, and most likely not the son of um, Percival, as he was in Azkaban at the time, and uh, Credence would be born 11 years after his death in 1890. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how does that make Credence the brother of Albus if his parents were dead before Credence was even born? Well, before we delve into that, we have to first take a look at another theory that I found online during research for this video. That theory essentially states that uh, Credence, because he develops an obscurial, there's a theory that that is essentially something that can be passed on, very much kind of like a blood curse. Um, now, the theory is that Ariana was attacked, once she was attacked when she was younger, she was also possibly assaulted and then developed a secret child um, that would eventually go on to be Credence. This theory, I feel like, holds no water when you consider, number one, I don't think there's any been, been any evidence of an obscurial being passed along bloodlines, um, but also at the time that Ariana was attacked, she was about six years old. When she died, she was about 14. So in order for her to have developed that child, there was absolutely no way. Plus, she died in 1899, along with the same year as her mother, which again was about two years before Credence was even born. Now, the theory that I'm most prone to is actually my own that I developed in the making of this video and doing some research. Now, it's my theory that Albus Dumbledore is connected with Credence, but he's not necessarily his brother. If we take a look, Albus was born in 1881, roughly making him about 46 years old during the crimes of Grindelwald. At this time, if we consider that Credence was born in 1901, he's roughly 26. So that means that during that time that it's possible that Albus Dumbledore isn't necessarily the brother of Credence, but possibly his father. <laughs>
Now let's take a second and take a look back at my theory before we go further. Now, if Dumbledore was roughly 20 to 21 years old when Credence was born or conceived, then that means he would have been a pretty young father for the most part. But that's not necessarily new to either today's standards or even back then standards when you could have a kid at 15 or 16 and be considered a full-time parent. Um, so that's nothing new. Plus, let's add on to the fact of that, that we don't really know a whole lot of information about young Dumbledore. The most information that we really know is when he was born, and as well as he had that summer in, with, in Godric's Hollow with Grindelwald in which they formed a bond, and his sister Ariana was killed as a result of their duel. Other than that, we really don't know much about Dumbledore's past, whether pre- um, Godric's Hollow with Grindelwald, or even Post, and we're really learning that information now in the Fantastic Beasts franchise. Now, the other question that I have in this theory is if Dumbledore even knows if Credence is his son or not, if he does know that he even has a son, and so we have to delve even a little bit further. Now, the question that we have to ask ourselves here, is it possible that Dumbledore could have had a secret son that he either did or did not know about after his encounter with Grindelwald and the death of his beloved sister? To me, the answer to that question is yes, it is entirely possible. If we take into consideration that Dumbledore just lost his best friend and possible lover, if we take into consideration that Dumbledore is gay and possibly Grindelwald could have been that lover, and thinking about the blood pact they made to never hurt each other, these are all things that compound to think that maybe Dumbledore was gay and he did have a lover. Add on to the fact of that that he, his sister was died as the result of their feud at that time or something that had encountered between them, then it's most entirely possible that Dumbledore was spiraling out. In order to escape the whole situation, he could have fell into the arms of anyone, could have uh, had a lover anywhere in the world, and then just eventually had a son that he possibly either did or did not know about. Now, in developing of this theory, we start getting even more questions, all of which we probably won't even get answered until at least the next movie, if not till the end of the franchise. Now, these questions start to come up as if, who is the mother of Dumbledore's child if Credence is his son? Does Dumbledore even know that he has a son? Why did Dumbledore say that Credence was so important? Did he know that he was his son, or is he just considering him an important magical person? Why does Grindelwald call him his Albus Dumbledore's brother instead of his son? Is he just confused? Is Grindelwald, Grindelwald just lying to Credence? There are so many questions, and it drives me mad that we probably won't have an answer for the next two years at least until the next Fantastic Beast movie. Oh, but those are the most plausible theories that I can come up with. I mean, it makes sense. Dumbledore is not Credence's brother, but actually his son. It just, everything just starts to add up. Yes, it uh, asks a lot more questions, but I think that's the best theory here. And Grindelwald is just confused that he's not his brother, but he could be his secret son. Uh, especially if maybe he's in denial, if he was his gay lover during that time at Godric's Hollow. There's a ton of different things that could go on here. But unfortunately, we have to wait until the next installment of the franchise, if not further, to develop this story. Um, I can't believe we have to wait two years um, until the next, the next movie. I'm just going to have to think about this for two years. And when the, the Blu-ray and DVD come out, we're going to have to analyze it even further, see if there's anything we missed. But actually, now it's your guys' turn. Let me know what you guys think about this theory. Do you think it's possible that Dumbledore either has a son, that Credence is actually his son and not his brother? Do you believe that somehow, through some extension, that J.K. Rowling can finagle this whole situation and make it seem as if uh, Credence is his brother. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this theory and exactly if it's possible that he has a son. I mean, to me, that makes the most sense. There's no other way that he could have had bro a brother. His parents had died way before Credence was even born. So there's got to be something that we're missing or somebody's confused or has some misinformation. That's just the best that I have for now. Um, but overall, those are my thoughts on Credence's origins and his birth, birth history, I guess, in the Fantastic Beasts um, movie franchise. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But other than that, that's all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.